Hello, and welcome to today's video. Today, I'm going to help you understand how you can feel better in the next couple of days, couple of weeks, maybe at the extreme, a couple of months, instead of having to wait for years and years and years till you finally heal, till you can start to feel better. I'm telling you today that you can start to feel better before you've healed, before you've achieved all your, before you've detoxed everything, before you've killed all the parasites, before you've addressed all of your trauma, I'm going to help you understand how you can feel better in the next couple of days, weeks, or months, instead of years. Because healing takes years, I'm going to be honest with you. I've been already in this journey for like nearly 10 years now, and I'm still not there. And I, I'll be honest, I've probably still got another 5 or 10 years ahead of me, but I'm okay with that because... My quality of life is actually pretty good. I have very few symptoms. I can function as a normal human being, which is really, really nice. I'm not healed, but all of my symptoms are managed. I'm going to help you understand how we can do this and how we can get you living, let's say, as close to symptom-free as possible in the next couple of days, weeks, and maybe on the more extreme end, months. How can we get you, let's go like 60 to 80% re reduction in symptoms in the next couple of days, weeks, and months. What you have to understand here is most of your symptoms or most of the, the things that are happening in your life that are making you not feel good are not because of all of the toxins that you've accumulated. It's not because of all of the viruses and all the reactivated Lyme and EBV and all of your childhood trauma. It's not all of these things. It, it's what's actually happening. The thing that's keeping you stuck and the reason that's giving you a poor quality of life and giving you lots of symptoms is these things that have happened or these, these factors that contribute to disease have disabled certain functions of your body or they have impaired or inhibited certain mechanisms inside of your body. And it's that dysfunction that actually causes your symptoms. The thing is, if you can figure out where that dysfunction is and correct that dysfunction, and this is usually something that you can do with like one supplement change, one dietary change, or like implementing a, a strategy around helping your body adapt and cope with what it's struggling to do, you can see drastic improvements in your symptoms before you're healed. It's really important that you understand this because if you're aiming for heals, it's so far in the future, it's years, maybe even a decade in the future, it's so demotivating and you feel like you just have to suffer today and you're just going to have to suffer for the next year and maybe if you just like restrict your diet and you just like live this like miserable existence for the next couple of years, maybe there's a light at the end of the tunnel. And that sucks. And I don't want you to think that that's how it works because it isn't. The best way you can actually help your body to heal is to figure out where you have dysfunction in these systems and correct it. Because these, these systems, these functions, they exist for a reason. And if you have a dysfunction, the fact that that function is not operating correctly means it's perpetuating a disease state and you're accumulating whatever it is that this system is supposed to be doing and it, and it isn't. For an example, like, let's look at your digestive system. Surprise, surprise, on William Dickinson's channel, we're looking at your digestive system. Like, who would have guessed it? The reason that I'm focusing here is you can make changes in your diet, in your lifestyle, in your supplements, and you can see, like, radical changes. And I'm literally talking, like, night or day. On one extreme, you've got one of my clients from sometime last year came to me with third trimester pregnancy, you know, he's so this is a guy that feels like he's pregnant, you know, massive bloated belly, does not feel good, and he has, like, a whole bunch of other symptoms connected. But this digestive symptom was, like, really... I mean, for a man to look like you're pregnant, it's quite uncomfortable, right? Literally within a 48-hour time period. And I'm, I'm not kidding you here, like... 48 hours so we're not talking years we're not talking decades two days that's it two days of dietary and supplemental changes his symptoms had reduced by 80 percent and it was like 100 percent con in a week because the symptom was showing him that there was a dysfunction like there was certain foods that he was eating that his body couldn't break down and when we provided his body with that machinery that it needed when we provided him with what his body was missing and this looks different for everyone but generally speaking it's going to be one of the five pillars stomach acid digestive enzymes, bile, motility, and mucosa. If you've got one of these that are dysfunctional and you correct it, you will see immediate changes. So in his case, if you look, add some betaine HCL, swap some foods out, you know, temporarily remove a couple of FODMAPs that he was particularly sensitive to, throw a digestive en enzyme in there. Two days later, completely flat stomach feels like a completely different person he's like wow i didn't even know this was possible and you know what he's not healed like this is what i'm trying to emphasize he had this very rapid and significant improvement in the quality of his life and his symptoms were so much less but he wasn't healed this was just managed but we would identified where he had dysfunction and corrected it what i'm trying to share with you is not only does this like mean that you don't have to have all of your symptoms like until until you're healed like until you reach the end of your journey there are some that you can probably just bang 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 like get rid of them like really really fast it's possible that it's not always like this for everyone and not 
not all of your symptoms will be able to be resolved like this, but I'm telling you, it is possible. I've seen it. I've seen it time and time again. Another thing that's really worth noticing is when you hold the body in a state where wherever you've had dysfunction, you've corrected dysfunction and is now functional. Now you're actually perpetuating healing. For example, in this case, this, this gentleman was eating a lot of food that he couldn't digest. This is, this is in the long run, this is creating malnutrition and this is feeding dysbiosis in the gut. If you have, if you eat food and you can't digest it, you don't get it. You don't get those nutrients. It doesn't feed your body. It doesn't feed your immune system. It doesn't feed your hormones. It doesn't feed your detox pathways. And instead your body will say, okay, we've got food that we can't digest. It's going to rot in the digestive system. Let's employ bacteria and yeast to break it down for us so that they produce less harmful compounds and then you've got SIBO and then you've got CIFO and then you've got reduced gastrointestinal integrity then you've got reduced nutrient uptake then you've got bloating and gas and all these like uncomfortable GI symptoms so by by managing this so we actually corrected the imbalance in his digestive function he now absorbs all those nutrients he's nourishing his body he's nourishing his immune system his hormones and he's not feeding this dysbiosis. If you ever eat food that you can't digest, you will feed a gut dysbiosis. Your body will employ them as an adaptive response. Not only did this provide him with significant symptom relief in the span of hours, and like I said, it's not like that for everyone, but for some people it is, and there's more people than maybe you think, see huge improvements immediately, but this is actually the single best thing that he can do to get him to heal in the long run. It's not about doing like a, like a detox or a cleanse or some supplements and stuff, especially when you like take supplements and you're doing like a cleanse or a detox or something and they make you feel bad in the short run. That's actually worse. Something's gonna heal you, you're gonna use it and it's gonna make you feel better in the short term because that means you've addressed where you have dysfunction and then in the long run, you're supporting your body to regain that function again. We need to shift this, this idea of like, I'm going to suffer now in the name of healing. That's not how it works. That's, it, just, it just doesn't work like that. We need to embody supporting the body's dysfunction now on a daily basis, which makes you feel better, which is cool because I think a lot of people don't like doing detoxes and cleanses or like they'll go to work with a naturopath or a functional medicine practitioner or something and they'll say like, you need to do all these supplements and then they feel shit. Like you feel really, really bad. It's like, no wonder you don't, you don't stick to it. Like you feel bad, like your body is a biofeedback mechanism telling you this is not right. Like this does not feel good. This is not the right thing for me. And then you feel bad as a consequence. The smart people stop doing it. The less smart people keep doing it anyway. Don't actually heal. Don't suffer in the name of healing. That's not how healing works. Healing doesn't want you to suffer. Healing wants you to feel better. That's the whole point. So if we can figure out what changes we need to implement in the short term to facilitate a shift in the dysfunction state that your body is currently in, not only do you feel better immediately, like reductions in symptoms, but you're actually doing the single best thing that you can do to put yourself on track with healing in the long run. It's the single best thing you can do i share this this one example because like it sounds amazing you know 48 hours completely transformed life is very cool that's not everybody most people i would say would fit into a bracket of let's say between two weeks and two months so we're looking like two to eight weeks normally if you're implementing a change if you're doing something that's going to make a difference you're going to feel it within two to eight weeks you know we're not talking months here we're talking weeks and you're going to feel it you're going to observe this change and then when you do and you're feeling better that is the most important thing you can do to heal in the long run Holding yourself in a state where you feel better is the key. Because when you feel better, what that indicates is your body is functioning more efficiently, more correctly. And if your body is functioning better, it's healing better too. That is just a simple equation. If you feel worse, if you take supplement, you feel worse. If you're giving yourself a detox reaction, if you're giving yourself a heart timer, if you're doing any suffering in the name of healing and you feel worse, you're actually slowing down your body's ability to heal. That's just how it works. I didn't make this rule. This is just what I've observed. It is what it is. So... Take it or leave it. I know not everybody's ready to hear this. I know some people still need to suffer through their healing process till they reach a point where they realize suffering to heal doesn't actually work. You'll come to the, let's not say the dark side, you'll come to the light side where it's actually a lot easier and it's a lot gentler and it's a lot softer. It works. You know, this is this is how healing works. It, it It's gentle, it's soft, it's kind. It's working with your body instead of working against it. I was on the other end of this time frame. For me, you, so you have to put it into context. My whole body had completely collapsed. If you reach a state of like chronic fatigue syndrome and being on a restricted diet of five foods, your body is in a complete state of collapse. Every single system that you have is not functioning correctly. You have dysfunction everywhere. Imagine you're in your car, right? Every single light on the dashboard, they're all flashing. Like, it's like everything is wrong. And that's going to take more time to recover from. Like, that's going to take more time to get things in check. You're still looking at like a six to eight month time period. You know, we're still not talking years. Getting you back on your feet is going to be more work. It's going to require a lot more finesse. It's going to require a lot more of, okay, we've built this system back up, but now it's putting weight on this system and this system can't handle it. It's collapsing. Now we need to support this system. Oh, and we can support this system by using this system over here. It's all connected and all of these systems are connected, but you don't have to get to the end of your healing journey to feel better. 
And I, the reason that I'm saying this is when you get this idea that you have to heal, like you have to detox every single piece of heavy metals from your body, or you have to get rid of every single mycotoxin, or your body has to be completely parasite free for you to start feeling better. Like how overwhelming does that sound? It just sounds impossible. And well, there's the clue. Like it is, it is basically impossible. You're never going to do it. it. It, it takes years. It takes, you're not just going to do it tomorrow. But if I'm telling you with the correct changes, if you can understand what your body is telling you with the symptoms that it's giving you and you implement the correct supportive structure around it, you will be able to see potentially 60 to 80% symptom improvement in a two to eight week period. We're just talking, av this is average. This is, this is what I'm talking averages here. This isn't extreme ends. This isn't 80% change in 48 hours on this end. And this isn't me, 40% improvement in six months we're talking this is the average range here. this is what i see most frequently correct changes implemented based on symptomology 60 to 80 percent improvement in symptoms and improvement in quality of life and this is the single best thing you can do for setting yourself up for healing in the long run because now your body is functional again and your body just as if you if you get a cut you know everyone talks about this in functional medicine everyone talks about this in alternative healing modalities but no one's like trying to actually apply this like if you cut your hand it heals itself why does it heal itself because the body is functional platelets come they, they bind it up and then the cells turn over and you make you make a new thing you don't have to like detox it you don't have to cleanse it you don't have to i mean you obviously need to make sure it doesn't get affected you don't have to do all these these things you know you just let it do its thing and you support it to do its own thing the same is true with chronic health problems you need to address the dysfunction that is causing your symptoms you need to figure out where it is that your body is struggling to complete the function that is attempting to complete and support it to complete that you will feel better in the short term and then that is the single like this is the most important thing the single best thing that you can do to set yourself up for healing in the long run forget all of your suffering forget all of your like let's suffer today let's do a detox let's do a cleanse Let's feel miserable for the next two weeks so that maybe I'll find healing at some point in the future. It does not work. You get more of what you are. So if you can find healing today, if you can find symptom relief today, if you can address your body's cries for help, if you can listen to where the dysfunction is, and I'm telling you, every symptom is a clue. You do not have random symptoms. There is no such thing as a random symptom. Every symptom is a very specific, very perceivable clue. Like if you know what you're looking for, you can listen to every single symptom and it's telling you something about where there is dysfunction inside the human body. If you listen to that dysfunction, you listen to the symptom, you, you, can, you can deduce what that dysfunction is and you correct the dysfunction, symptom goes away and you put yourself in alignment with healing in the long run. That is how healing works. Do this over and over again for every system that's imbalanced. So you do it for your gut. Get your gut working for you. You're aligned with healing. Okay, now we're going to move on to the mitochondria. The mitochondria aren't working properly. Let's build the mitochondria up. Okay, mitochondria are on are on the team as well. Okay, the hormones are imbalanced. We've got adrenal fatigue going on. There's thyroid autoimmunity. Okay, balance all these things. Let's pick all these clues together. Bring it all together. Bring the symptoms down in the in the meantime and support your body to heal in the long term. Listen to your body. Figure out what the symptoms are trying to tell you. If you don't know, ask somebody that does. I can probably help you figure it out. But it doesn't have to be me. What I really care about is you getting what you want. I want you. To to heal i don't want you to have to just be stuck for years and for for a decade you know i want you to actually start to feel better as soon as possible because i know how much it sucks to have a chronic health problem and to have your quality of life completely destroyed and to not even be able to function as a human i know what that's like so even if it's not me just find somebody that can help you figure out what your body is telling you and implement strategic changes to support the dysfunction and when you do that when you correct the dysfunction healing is the inevitable consequence down the road but at that point you almost don't care because your quality of life is good symptoms are under control and it's just like happy days get on with my life and just implement these things and then you can just be patient and healing happens hope you found this really interesting hope you found it helpful if you have any questions do leave them below and i'll get back to you take care and i'll see you in the next one goodbye